वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू पावर प्लांट गुरु यूट्यूब चैनल फ्रेंड्स आई एम अ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियर विद अराउंड ट्वेंटी ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पावर प्लांट एंड आई यूज टू क्रिएट स्मॉल फंडामेंटल नॉलेज सीरीज वीडियोस फॉर पावर प्लांट इंजीनियर्स वी आल्सो रन डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशंस ऑन वीकेंड्स सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच एस यू कैन रीच एस थ्रू कमेंट सेक्शन एंड ज्वाइन आवर वीकेंड क्लासेस let us continue to watch our today's video hello friends welcome to power plant guru youtube channel friends i was re receiving some request in my previous videos through comments that we should me create a video on a swar langan so here is a small conceptual video on swirl angle which uh, will be required when uh, any engineer is trying to solve or investigate gas turbine combustion spread related problem statement so let us try to understand uh, it and how to uh, deal with this so uh, first uh, the concept of swirl i think uh, everybody knows but the, for the sake of completing the concept i am uh, explaining this so if you see uh, the left side of uh, picture here where you know a swirling type of motion is you know created that is where your compressor how it behaves in in this type of motion only the compression happens and uh, your pressure may be if it uh, if we imagine it is the inlet and it is the outlet then this kind of uh, this thing will happen or here there will be certain p1 and here it will be p2 and p2 which will be higher than p1 so this type of motion will be there in the air and after that there will be combustion happening here uh, let's say the combustion is happening and then it again passes through the turbine where uh, it will be passing through like this uh, maybe your uh, static blade static blades and then uh, your uh, rotary blades and all like that so the movement will be like this uh, it will pass uh, like this but again the swirling phenomena will be there so if let's say your machine is facing a problem of high combustion spread and there are exhaust thermocouple maybe 18 for uh, 6 b units 24 for 9 units or, or or whatever different numbers uh maybe 1 2 3 4 like that there are different thermocouples and let's say you are facing low temperature in this region and if you see this region correspond to here in this you know uh, maybe x number of uh, you know combustion can but as this temperature is not directly linked to this uh, let's say we will talk about 12 o'clock position so 12 o'clock position in temperature uh, sensor is not you know similar to 12 o'clock position in combustion can so that is why with that is temperature signal you cannot understand which of the can may be the culprit for your spread and that is where you need to understand the swirl angle and how to understand which type of which uh, component is causing the problem here is a image which is uh, from a g machine where you know uh, you uh, there is a small software which g provide if you don't have that software you can ask your gta 
they can or the busy gts in india or other g field services they can provide this uh, software and this is uh, i understand as per my understanding this is uh, free of cost a small plug and play type of software so if you have this software what that uh, what it will do it will try to correlate the machine condition the flow and the load condition and it will translate the number of uh, the, it will translate which thermocouple is correlated to which type of which number of combustion can so if you see this image there are certain numbers written in uh, red color like this one this so the red ones are your thermocouple and this black color ones are your combustion cans and uh, you may ask a question the combustion can numbers may be different for one set of machine and it may be different for another set of machine so that is where you have on the right side your uh, uh, this radio button where if you click on 6b uh, here in this case uh, this is a static image but if you have the software if you click on 6b the combustion cans number may uh, will change according to the 10 combustion cans in 6b machines and the number of uh, your uh, red uh, color thermocouples uh, that will also change to maybe 18 number of thermocouples i am uh, forgetting a little bit but 18 numbers of thermocouple in uh, you know 6b machine uh, if you click on 9e then it will you know change for 14 combustion cans and maybe 24 number of uh, thermocouples so now let us say your uh, xyz uh, thermocouple or for example uh, let us see that this 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 area your problem is there this uh, these thermocouples are reading low now if you uh, have to check which thermocouple are there so you need to there will be left side there will be a lever or drag and uh, type of uh, button where you can pull that button to somewhere here uh, let's say a 50 megawatt condition or you know 40 megawatt condition at which load you are operating you just pull uh, this uh, uh, button or lever to this position wherever you are operating the machine this thermocouple position will change if you just move this uh, button up and down you will see here there is a movement happening in this red color indications red color thermocouples so if you stick to 40 megawatt this this red color thermocouples will settle to some of the thermocouple let's say in this case it is number can number two and if these three thermocouples are reading low then you may go and diagnose this particular thermo, uh, combustion can where there may be some choking or some uh, some sort of problem or the fuel passes or any whatever so that is where you know you can understand and why this is changing because of load and other thing but like your total air flow is changing your delta p is changing so whatever we understood in the previous slide that swirl it is dependent on many factor like uh, if majority is megawatt megawatt is translating into air flow uh, delta p so this software is created in such a way that if you change the megawatt it will calculate in the background that how much air flow will be there at that particular megawatt and accordingly how the swirling impact effect is going on and which temperature thermocouple may be related to which kind of uh, which number of combustion can this is how you can identify at this particular point how you can relate with temperature element and the combustion can and you can check uh, the other the other way to identify your cross check is 
you can check the liquid fuel pressures uh, in that particular uh, in a combustion can if it is low or high and then it will give you a, a sense of you know cross checking or confirming the uh, correlation between thermocouple and the combustion can so this is what i wanted to cover on uh, swirl angle and how to use that software to understand uh, what impact it can bring to your analysis thank you for uh, watching this video if you have any question you can ask in comment section thank you for uh, giving your time thank you very much